What's up everyone, it's your boy Norrad89 here bringing you another video and for today's video we are going to begin our Scooby-Doo journey. Yes, over the last two months or so I've been binging every Scooby-Doo TV series. I still got some more to do. I gotta finish uh, Be Cool Scooby-Doo and Velma. I have a few more episodes of both of those shows and then I've watched every show, every season, every episode of Scooby-Doo and we're going to talk about, like I said, I have a good month and a half of content planned because we're going to talk about every season. If it's in its own entirety, we're going to do that first, then we're going to rank the seasons, then we're probably going to rank some characters and then maybe even rank the theme songs as well. So it's got I got a lot of content planned, but of course today we're going to talk about the OG, the original, the show that started everything, Scooby Doo, Where Are You from the 60s. Oh man, such a classic. I just I love this show so much. I wonder back then if the creators really knew what they started, like how how much content it would go and that it would still be going in 2023, you know what I mean, all that kind of stuff. So I'm very excited to talk this. And be sure to hit me up in the comments down below to share all your love for the Scooby-Doo franchise. So let's do this. Roll it. So Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? This first TV show originated in 1969 in September and ran for two seasons through 1970. The first season was much longer. I believe there's 16 or 17 episodes in that first season. And then the second season was shortened down. They were already kind of losing, you know, like the ratings and everything. So Hanna-Barbera, the uh, production company, ended up canning the show after that second season. I believe only eight episodes. It's a very shortened down one. And then um, we had it kind of revamped and brought back to life in September of 1978 as well. Sorry, you can probably hear my chicken outside. That's Flash making all that noise. So, but yeah, in 1978 in September, they brought it back to for a limited run for having just one season and stuff. So Scooby-Doo, where are you? Just fantastic, fantastic. Let's just start off right away with the cast. You know what I mean? We have a great voice cast with the likes of Casey Kasem, Don Messick, Nicole Jaffe, Frank Welker, and Heather North. So just a fantastic voice cast. And the characters, it's the originating OG one. So that's why Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? A lot of people hold this in such high regards because it really did set the template for a lot of the Scooby-Doo shows after this. Like so many of them would follow this same template, have the same cast of characters. And there'd be other ones, of course, that would change things up in the script, change animation or add new characterizations to the characters. But yes, this is the original OG one. And Scooby-Doo, where are you? Like I said, still stands the test of time. Another reason too, is I think it's just, it's got very strong atmosphere, you know what I mean? It's one of those shows that you can feel it, it like oozes Halloween atmosphere. I wouldn't say it's necessarily scary, but it's got a cool spooky vibe. That's how I would describe the show. And to add to the atmosphere as well, we have a fantastic theme song. The Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? Just first theme song, you know, the composer David Mook. And that just, ah, oh, it's fantastic. And I believe Ben Riley also is a hand in doing the music composing. So it's just one of those shows, like I said, it has a really strong, spooky atmosphere and the characters, the, you know, the mystery aspect of it, it has a very like, you know, Hardy Boys type feel, you know, aspect to it where it's, you know, solving mysteries, you know, diving down like clue status. And I think that's what people loved about it as kids, you know what I mean? Especially back then you got so involved with the show because you were trying to solve the mystery with your with the famous cast, you know what I mean? Daphne, Scooby, Shaggy, Fred, like all of them, Velma. And there's stuff to love about every character. And that's why I think some of the best shows in Scooby-Doo franchise are the ones where all of them are together because they balance each other out. I'm not saying they can't nail it without having everybody there, but it's having Fred to balance out Daphne, having Velma to balance out Shaggy, and Scooby and Shaggy are just the, the duo. You gotta have them together. You know, it's like Laurel and Hardy or, you know, Abbott and Costello. Like, they just gotta be together kind of thing. So, yeah, the, the, the characters, the atmosphere, the music, all of that is really what lifts this show to a high level. And even though the animation is very old school, it's very dated, it still, like I said, fits the time and fits that 60s era, the 70s, and you can just oozes 
you know, that time, that nostalgia. Add to that, we have some really cool episodes and, you know, villains and stuff. Like, one that I always remember that I rehearsed in my head, and I believe it was episode three of the first season, was the Miner 49er, when they go down to the mine, and there's a guy who's having trouble trying to get people to stay at his, you know, motel, and it's like a run downtown, and yeah, the Miner 49er, this guy who's using stilts to look really tall, and he has, like, a big gray beard and everything. Then there's the Bedlands, at the big top, which has that creepy clown in it, that one that kind of looks like almost like an ICP clown, you know, insane clown posse. It looks like a clown that should be on the cover of one of their albums or something like that. So, I mean, that's the show just for real. Oozes that time, oozes atmosphere, has some really cool characters and the villains, and it's one of those shows that just stands the test of time. And like every time I watch it now, it still holds up, even with my children with my nieces and nephews, they love watching it and stuff. And Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? still very high up in the rankings because even returning to it, like as I've watched it as a child, as a teen, as an adult with kids now, and it's like, it still holds up. And it's mainly because I think they just really nailed it down. That template, that first shot, and it's very rare for someone to come out in that first shot of a TV show or something like that and just really nail it down. And it kind of sucks that like in 1970, like the ratings were going down, people were getting tired of it. So I was like, it got real quick, you know, where people got tired of this show. And then they, but they revamped it, you know, brought it back so many times with Scrappy-Doo and 13 Ghosts and many other types of seasons and stuff. But Scooby-Doo, Where Are You is one that I will never ever forget. And I love returning to. So yeah, this is one of the ones that like I've digested all the episodes multiple times. Some of these shows and some of the seasons are the first time I've ever watched them, like What's New Scooby-Doo, Be Cool Scooby-Doo, Velma, some of those, it's the first time I've ever seen those ones. But Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? Yeah, I've watched this at multiple times in my life and it still lands to date. So these are ones that, you know, I'll probably be 60 or 70 years old and I'll probably still be checking out Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? episodes. And in terms of the characters and the cast, like we talked about the voice casting and everything a little bit and the characterization and stuff, but my favorites are like probably Shaggy and Daphne. Daphne and Shaggy are the ones that are my favorites. Like, and I love that different iterations. Shaggy is kind of the same. They kind of keep him the same and stuff like that throughout most of the shows and stuff. But Daphne kind of gets more different iterations, especially when you get into the other seasons. But yeah, them two are my favorites of the crew and the ones that I, you know, love watching and that I laugh at the most or that, you know, I connect with that are just, they're funny, you know what I mean? But yeah, these are just my thoughts, my opinions on some of my favorite episodes, you know what I mean, or favorite villains, the atmosphere, what I think about this first show, Scooby-Doo, where are you? Like I said, it's just classic, man, 69, 70, and then yeah, back again in 78, and all these shows are streaming, these episodes, on Tubi for free. That's where you can check it out or you can go out and buy the DVD or Blu-ray. They do have Blu-rays and DVDs of these with the full on every episode on them and everything. So be sure to go check them out. Let me know what you thought. Let me know down in the comments. Are you a big fan of Scooby-Doo? Was this one that you digested and watched a lot as a kid and you remember, you know what I mean, all the episodes and all the, you know, the theme songs and the music and the chase sequences and all the tropes, everything that just began this franchise and that was take it to a whole new heights as you would see later in the decades after that where they just kept revamping it and revitalizing the show and there's still some other shows that really stand the test of time too so i can't wait to start discussing those so be sure you like subscribe and have that notification bell so you're notified anytime i post videos because you don't want to miss anything on this scooby-doo journey and like i said hit me up down in the comments follow me on twitter as well that's my other social media i'll have all that stuff in the description down below but most importantly i want y'all to have a safe and happy day peace out